but for now we are getting ready to get into some sorrel glazed salmon guys christmas is in the air and so is jason i've Drew. never had sorrel glazed salmon i've even heard about You've this never before. had sorrel I've glazed salmon we've had sorrel before right? of course i've had our sorrel in the fridge right now mm. You got some sorrel? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to throw back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's before COVID, you know, when things was normal. You can't be doing mm -hmm. that now. No, I can't be doing that. This All right. So sorrel glazed salmon, talk yes, to us. Yes, brother. Um, you know, festive season of sorrel, obviously. As I encode, you know, a bunch of creme sorrel. Mm -hmm. Ubiquitous beverages around the Christmas time. Especially. So I wanted to build a little bit of the sorrel inside of a savory preparation. Just people just think of it as a beverage. Yeah. Okay. So recipe for my brand new book, The Impregnation of Flavor. I'm going to be showing you guys how to execute this. So first and foremost, we got a beautiful piece of salmon. This mm -hmm. could work well with snapper. You could use kingfish, okay. whitefish fillets, grouper, whatever the case may be, right? So what we're going to do start first and foremost with is some black pepper. You know the fundamentals, obviously. Black pepper and salt here in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. You need to get those uh, comprehensive. The fundamental basics. The fundamental basics. So we go with some chili inside there and now the salt. So again, black pepper, salt, and chili. I'm not going to really... I can do this so far. Uh, you can do this so far. <laughs> it's not that difficult, pretty much. You're going to take some fresh rosemary, put it on top. A bit of, a bit of character inside there so you could see the pronounced studs mm -hmm. or the pieces inside there. So what you want to do now is then roll this around inside here, gently. It's almost like a little spice rub you've just made, all right? Okay. Fish doesn't take that long to cook, neither does it take long to marinate. You don't okay. want to marinate fish overnight. It breaks down. Really? So nice fish. Exactly. Things like salmon. Oh. Right? The salt so is breaks yeah. it down. Salt breaks down. You never know, you season meat and you leave it overnight. Yeah. You come back, you see a whole pool of yeah, yeah, yeah. water. Because yeah. the water is inside of our meats. Pull and it the salt out. brings it out. That's moistness. Yeah. So you want to retain mm -hmm. that inside there. So you got to be very careful with what you marinate and how long. Important Noted. tricks, right? Especially Noted. when you see you trying to prep for Christmas. <laughs> so we're going to go in with some oil inside there, guys. I hope you're taking notes here all pretty much, right? right now. So pretty much you're getting it nice and hot. Mm -hmm. So some oil inside it. Pretty much vegetable oil works well. You could use olive oil inside mm -hmm. there if you're healthy about conscious. Because yeah, there's so many different varieties. Well, you look, you, you, are you actually green? So you look like very... Olive oil. Press to you, my girl. Olive oil. I was about to say you look like olive, maybe. I just took it in stride. So we can use any kind of oil and we will then... Pansia, is it? Pansia, so... I knew things. Salmon sure takes enough. no time to cook. Yeah, it takes like 10 energy. seconds. So basically, you want to sear it on all sides. So you're looking at probably 40, 30 to 45 seconds on all sides. You'll right. be pretty good. Okay. And then we're going to apply the glaze. In the meantime, what okay. I have here is some beautifully mashed cilantro studded mashed potatoes. Recipe in my book. Cilantro Ooh. studded? Ooh. Cilantro studded. You know, cilantro is like one of those really hot. It's Chardon Benny. There you go. The hot tea 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 um, I also have a beautiful little salad again. All these recipes are in my book, so I'm just giving ideas just to mm -hmm. pretty what much get people yeah. thinking. So we have a nice carrot and chive salad. Okay. Throughout the Caribbean, they will put into chive as scallions or green onions. Right. Okay. All right. So let me show you what's going on here pretty much. As my salmon cooks, check this out, it starts to sear up nicely. As you can see that, color mm -hmm. in Trinidad yeah, and Tobago yeah. mean flavor. Yes. And in case you all can't, well, you all can't tell, but the smell, Ooh, however, And that's also, also a thing that we Ooh. tend to be a little scary or scared about with fish. You know, it can overpower Overcook. everything. Yeah. So this is a very pleasant. Is oh, this is, this yeah. is, is that This is already added in? Exactly. So I've just put slivered garlic, which are nice thin pieces, just to perfume the dish. Mm -hmm. And I've added the sorrel jam. You could easily find sorrel jam. Good old sorrel jam. Good old sorrel jam. Sorrel oh. jam. Sorrel jam. It's so I thought simple. we were using original sorrel. Original sorrel. I didn't like bring any from Morocco. Like me bring it for you, you <laughs> divorce here. Eh? Then bootleg sorrel. No, sorrel. let me tell you. No, I mean like actual, I thought it was like actual sorrel You leaves. can use that, okay. nevertheless. But what I like about this, the viscosity of the jam, yeah. gives you that ability to break it down and baste it because it has a certain thickness. So you get a sauce automatically almost. Exactly, and you don't have to wait for it to reduce. This is foolproof, guys. This you is a non chef like myself. I try to make the food as affable as, and easy yeah. as so you don't have yeah. to go and buy it. So you just buy a jam and you can then eat this with crackers later on. Right, it's true. You'd rather use the whole arm. So you're, you're going to start to sear this like this. As it breaks down, <laughs> Rockers, as you can see, we are basting it just like that. This is gorgeous. Natasha's um, frozen. And my house She's is frozen smelling with, with smell. Like yeah. Christmas it's like the it. spell captivator. No, she just pointed at the uh, food. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, the jam is uh, breaking down a no, little bit, so it's nice and... Okay, cool. It, it, it's, it's beautiful. Nick, if you get a nice shot of this, you could actually see how it's glazing. It's resplendent. Again, Christmas. Now, yeah. it's starting... It's moving from that olive oil to this beautiful sort of... Exactly. You know, the regalia. Yeah, that's right. on the yes. right. So, you are sorrel. Woo. You have olive oil. Rockers, we figure you out here. I against gender-based violence. You know, you know, yeah. Ah. <laughs> 
orange juice. Got I like that you. one. It's a team effort. Or it right. could be rum punch, you know? There Either you one we like it at Christmas time. In my salad, I added some black pepper and salt already. I'm just adding a oh little bit of calamine. But Jason, can we talk about the fact that you only bought one serving for three of us? I don't understand. I am um, pretty, much, pre pretty, much at, pretty much at this point in time, I was advised that only you will be eating. And Rockus actually is uh, not eating, he's fasting. Mm. <laughs> and he's going through a spiritual growth period right now. Which Rockus is this? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I wish that whole I second of viewers at home could actually smell this because it's it so definitely fun. gives you that goodness. What, of what is interesting I for me is the layers of smell that we experienced this morning already, right? Because when it started off, you, you got a, a stronger sense of the rosemary mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. actual fish itself. Mm -hmm. And then as he added these the sorrel glaze, it, it, the scent got a little bit sweeter, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it changed the environment. There's, there's a great balance between savory and sweet. It right. is. It's right. 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 Back yeah, exactly. Yes. Because <laughs> all the smoke was in the back of my head, my robot. Oh, robot. Listen, <laughs> it, it's just perfection. Oh, this is now going to be perfection on a plate. So, okay, granted that she is a bit more festive in the red, and we mm -hmm. progressed from olive to red. <laughs> There's uh, rockers, oh. the carrots. And then there's some rockers in there with the carrots. I think this rockers you represent the carrots. I feel I like can. it's rebellious, but at the same time, classy to Aaron, some degree. Aaron, you know what I mean? Hold on, this description just went left. It, uh, I <laughs> find the mama gives them just turn up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mama gives them. <laughs> 101. Oh, okay, all right. Now, so the now, the beauty about this now is that you have a nice balance. You have your mashed potatoes to love up all that sorrel sauce mm -hmm. that leaches onto it. So it's a great medium, a sponge. Mm -hmm. You got your fresh aspect of your salad, your chives, your carrots inside there, and a little bit of glaze to represent the sweet season of Christmas spirit. Aww. A piece of rosemary inside there. Yeah. As Rome tell me, you were talking about Rome earlier on. We were doing mm -hmm. a cooking show recently. Rome said, but this man walked with a whole piece of Christmas tree, boy. Mm -hmm. Robert, what do you have to say, boy? It looks like a Christmas tree. Piece of Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's rosemary. All right, so TV time, you made this in like a couple of seconds, maybe. Yeah. Pretty much. But like on average, how long does it take you to prep this sort of meat? I think pretty much the, the longest thing here will be the mashed potatoes. Okay. Which you have to boil the mash. I cut my potatoes smaller, so it boils quicker. quicker. Mm -hmm. And I mean, mm -hmm. all these tips and tricks pretty much you can get in my new book, The Impregnation of Flavor. It's available wow. for the Christmas <laughs> period at this point in time. Make you go onto my website, www.chefjasonperu.com. We have local and international delivery as well. Shipping. By all means, yeah, shipping. Is there, is there um, a, a soft copy that we can download, like for no, Kindle or I, anything I like that? Well, that, that is, and anybody who is into the soca industry will tell you piracy is a huge problem. Taxi. You put that on a soft copy and it's Tom, Dick, Harry, Susan, Mary, Ben, everybody go get it. Go I hear Right, so. so it's a good gift for the Christmas season, especially um, for the not so sure cookers yeah. like myself. That would be perfect. And I just have I have a question perfection. before before we eat it and disseminate it, right? Because um, Jason, Dissem in, terms it. In, in terms of the actual the carrots and the size that you see you using there, like yes. the, the, the size of the carrots and all that, it's very particular. I'm curious as to do you cut that specifically or use a grater? There's a certain method in which it is done. Mm. I speak about it in the book also. So okay. not only do okay. you get methodology, but you also get tips, tricks techniques mm. inside of the book also. Nice. The book is extremely visual anchor, so every recipe has a picture. Okay. And there's over 300 recipes, so you know there's 300 dishes mm. at the cook. Oof. So you can imagine my photography bill for that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> food is art, look at that. That's a masterpiece. And of course, you did mention earlier on that Christmas time is food, mm -hmm. drink, good time. And I mean, you make this for your family, they would love it. Your friends coming over, it's healthy, it's festive, and of course, Shit. Well, we enough for delicious. Yeah, don't tell them. Tell them, I'm the designated. Go you ahead, are no, the go designated. You, are, you, your turn. you could start it at least. <laughs> <laughs> start it up for them, no man. Oh boy. Right, so I'm going to get into the macaroni. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super hot. Oh, cheesy. Mm. Try not to talk with food in my mouth. Mommy would be mad. Break but let's get into the salmon. Break out a piece of the salmon. <coughs> The piece with these vegetables. I of like course, it. we have yep. to make sure we get a little bit of everything on the fork and then do it dainty enough for television. Oh, look at the steam on that rocker. You just know that's fresh. Early in the morning. I mean, I wish I, would, I, wish I could tell you how fresh it really was. Because it really is every month. <laughs> <laughs> when she get proper, she get presidential. <laughs> so, of course, I get sweet immediately because right. the glaze yes. is there. And a glaze gives you a little bit of a, almost like a glassy texture to Correct, it. Right? So yes. it's, it's lovely, heavenly. I want to use the word slither because everything is super soft, but I also want to eat, so mm, mm, mm. It just slides, it just mm, slides mm. right down. High what five, Jason. Mm. Mm. Job, yeah. This is Christmas on a plate. Is it? Yeah, it definitely is. There is the, the smoothness of the uh, mash, of course. The glaze Comforting. is amazing. Comforting. Oh, Comforting, that's it, yes. So they have a little breast, what? 
Well, uh, uh, evidently you are. Right? <laughs> you are, you are will not agree. I mean, I, at, at this point, I feel like I don't have much say anymore. You should you get your Like over here. Yeah, we just watching. Yeah, we're just over here watching about my, my mouth drooling. Yeah. And I started to be like, yeah, Olive, you go ahead. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> go ahead, Olive. <laughs> I'm going to call you all kind of thing this morning because you eating salmon and I not. Guys, this is the perfect way to kick things off for the season. I really feel festive and it was so easy. I'm, so, I'm so happy you guys enjoyed it. Of course, I make my recipes and tailor them extremely easy, affable for the Christmas season and throughout the course of the year. So I'm going to be nice and spirit of giving, give you guys oh, some pork. Guessing? Of course. We were just we playing with you guys. Wish. She only dressed like the Grinch today. We, <laughs> we <laughs> planned this. I'm not really. So Jason, you're a part of this Thank <laughs> you. The sizes are different, so you can distinguish which is which. And right. of course, if we needed to get the impregnation of flavor, Jason, where do we do Most that? Most definitely. Are you ready? Is, it locally. Is, it, is it in stores as well yeah, besides it's, it's, it's in our store at the Candice Mohan Salon. That's okay. telephone number 701-8980. Okay. One will replace. Okay. Or you can order it via my website, as mentioned, www.chefjasoncrew.com, and we get it to you locally and internationally within three days. Oh, wow. Websites. Yeah. Amazing. Like we website. Yeah. Yeah. We deliver it to you. Though, because Jason, okay. I need to talk to you about delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Three days. That's Three great. Days. So that it, you could get it for Christmas. Correct. Christmas and you days. get it signed for this season, oh. especially. So you want it to Susan, Jim, Mary, Carrie, or whatever the case is, you just tell me and Super put it on the, on the website. Today. So thoughts, guys. Great <laughs> gift idea. Natasha. It has, it has a bit of a crust with the, with the glaze. Exactly. Mm. Wait, wait, Remember, don't crust don't has sugar. Don't give it away. <laughs> I haven't tried the salmon yet. Hold on. Really? really? We 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 on I'm, on, I'm on the mash right now. Guys. Okay. Hold on. And thoughts on this the mash. This is an experience. It is. It's She's absolutely delicious. This is a philosophy. An experience. Experience. This is like just one more. It's so, so creamy. I mean, I know we didn't time it exactly, right? Mm. But what, at what point do you put the, the um, sorry, the jam in? Like, at, okay, how no do problem. you know when it's so time for the sorry? I did mention that you want to cook probably each side at, for about 45 seconds. Mm. So halfway through the process of doing two turns, that's when you will add the jam in. So you're cooking on one side, turn it over, then add the, the sorrel glaze to it. So as it cooks, the sauce, the, the jam breaks down. It breaks down and yeah. it, okay, okay. That makes sense. So the jam oh doesn't actually have to cook itself. It just no, it's just it's just a warm up. Basically. And it's supposed to mingle with the natural salt, black pepper, and rosemary that we added to bring up the savory flavor. So you get a perfect balance. So just not sweet. Gosh, what is happening over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 just, I enjoyed that so well, much. I'm happy you Literally. Did bursting with flavor. There was an explosion in my mouth. Absolutely amazing. Well, Christmas on a plate, hush your mouth. It's been impregnated it with flavor. So it has been impregnated with flavor. You know. 100%. Wow. <laughs> wow. The birth, listen, okay. the birth of Jesus Christ at Christmas time Praise and the impregnation God. of flavor. Praise oh. God. Okay. That's where we come from. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 what does your Christmas menu look like? Christmas menu, uh, pretty much, uh, if I'm going up by my family, Sandy Grandi, we'll eat things like um, curry pigeon peas, bus up shot, fireside duck, nice. cassava, yam, and then we have like this <laughs> turkey. Oh, I'm not going to say what the traditional Christmas thing. You, you want a whole feast? Mm -mm, I love it. You want a whole feast? I don't mind that, actually. But that's an interesting uh, spin, I guess, because you would think the chef would have the traditional Christmas. I don't really cook on Christmas, to be honest with you. you know. Fair, that you should rest. Yeah, that's on Diwali. I go by, you know, family members. Okay, okay. So we uh, enjoy those days. And Christmas Day is a cool, nice, free day for me. Nice. can't cook every single day, you know it's what I mean? It's true. It's family, true. when family and your grandmother and your uncles, and they cook, it's more love in the food. Absolutely, absolutely. And speaking of love in the food, they're loving it over there. So I guess right. I'm going to have to wrap this segment, because you're the kind of... Look at you, you, you just go ahead. It, eh? <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk after the show. The Grandi Alliance is here. I will yeah. check you out. Okay. And we will continue to celebrate Christmas on the Now Morning Show with not just the food, but all of the festive decor as we continue this morning. When we come back, we're going to have a chat with Robert and find out exactly what he's doing in terms of decorating this tree because I find like it's a whole specific skill set when you want to decorate a Christmas tree. These it days. is. Yes. So, you know, we'll take, a, we'll take a quick break and when we come back, we will have no more food. Because we're going to eat it all and we'll start decorating. Because it's Christmas here on the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned. Look, I'm